Hi, this is Bethany with New Life Jewelry Creations. I just wanted to welcome you to my channel. Um, I hope you like it. If you do, hit the like button. Um, and as always, you're welcome to share and subscribe. Uh, the video will start in just a second. Good morning, friends. Uh, today I want to I want to tackle these. Um, we do have a pair of them, and they are pretty right in here see all that green I thought it was maybe some vertigray or something and I tore this one off I just put it back on so you can see anyways it looks like green paint so we are going to try clean that off start fresh um, just gonna use some some isopropyl alcohol. I use 91%. It does come in 70%. When using, when doing resin, it's better if you use the 91 or higher to, because uh, uh, when you mix it in uh, your resin projects and stuff, and, or if you mist it on top or whatever you're doing, uh, it this here is not as diluted Ooh. yes delusion yeah anyways um so you don't want to have to buy two different kinds of alcohol but if you got like the 70 percent in your already in your house go ahead and use it for cleaning purposes just make sure it's very dry before you uh, before you put any resin or anything on it all right what i want to do today is I want to let me get a toothpick um I want to resin this inside but I don't know what color I want Ooh, that worked good anyways so I pulled this out and I wanted to make some inserts for this so I took some paper and cut it at the right size and I am putting them inside to make sure they are the right size because you can't just go from the outside because resin is going to be a hard thing. It's not like paper that will bend on the edges. Although, if your resin's thin enough, it might. And you can clip the, uh, the, um, the resin. It does cut or sand. So, but this came out easy enough. Let's, <laughs> I said that. Now let's watch this one come in, out hard. Yeah, this one's not coming out as easy. So, I just got underneath it. Yeah, yeah that was that easy. Hmm. Okay, my nails are in terrible shape. There we go. And it just peels off. And these, you just trash. And see how bad that is? The green in there? I hope that you guys can see that. Anyways. More alcohol. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think this is paint. Um, that's probably why this ended up in the uh, the giveaway thing because somebody spilled some paint on it, their favorite earrings, and then they were ticked off about it and uh, decided to get rid of it. That's my story. When there's <laughs> whenever there's something mysterious to me I always make up a story because I'll never know the real story and uh, it is a mystery why anyone would throw away these earrings because I think they're pretty I I'm not uh, I think they'll be prettier with something besides cork in them but I mean if you bought the cork to begin with yeah you liked it right okay now I will need to clean this out too I noticed that this has some schmutz in there and it's probably they probably had some scent things or something and it just left some residue or it could be that they've pulled the silver color off let me soak it for a bit just a lot of alcohol 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 Doo -doo -doo. Well, I got my first dislike on my videos. I don't mind it. 
I mean, my videos are not for everyone. And if you are a professional jewelry maker, I'm sure you're just going, oh my God, this is horrible. Because, um, yeah, I don't have any training. I just have a lot of experience doing what I'm doing. Although, a lot of stuff I'm doing, there is no experience. It's the first time I do it with you. Uh, so we can both learn at the same time. Whether or not the people who make the videos, who make it look so easy, are just professionals or, or what, you know? Because sometimes people act like they're, they're not professionals, and they are. You can tell by some of the things they do. You're going, hmm, yeah, you've done this before. This is not your first rodeo. So, let me get this and dry this. Yeah, that's as clean as I'm going to get it. There is, it's not as white, but there is some color loss right there. It might be some glue or something. And it is bent up a little bit, like it's been through a, a bit. But on this side, it doesn't look that way. And I could take and just use a little hammer or something and just pound that out right there. Or maybe I can do it with my fingers. I did a little bit of it with my fingers. It's not going to catch on anything, and you're not going to notice it simply because it's scroll work. And I just think it's so pretty. It does need to have some color inside. So, let's, um, I did cut, these are just post-its, and I cut this, whoops, come on. You're being a stink, don't be a stink. To the right size, if it was going to lay down properly. Flip it over in the other. No, it doesn't work. Um, I think I'm going to take the corners off, though. If I can get it back out. Wow. It was not like that when I first did it. And, yes, I, I put it in while I was cutting it because the first cut it was way too big. Because I just did, I, I had it like this, and I just kind of estimated how much smaller it would have to be for the, the, um, the inside and I was like way off anyways I'm just cutting some corners eh, isn't that funny no <laughs> and I'm gonna take this is a clear mat let me get rid of that alcohol because I don't need that I don't need these little pieces of paper all right throw them in my trash bin all right don't need the pen anymore. All right, just set this under here and set this one under here. Okay. What I want to do is I want to figure out what I want on here. Well, since I want to do some samples, why not do the, some uh, fillers for this? And it's like, you know, win two different things. Okay, this... This is on the other side, so that's a, <sighs> okay, I, I, I was going to leave it, let it go, and I'm going, no, I got to, it'll only take a second, take a little bit of tape, and I just get this at Walmart or wherever you buy your packing tape. You don't have to have the, the fancy tapes that you see on videos. See, that right there is on that side. Make sure I was using this as a um, protective thing, and, and I had been doing a whole lot of videos, and so yeah, I just kind of just put it away. Need that. All right, spread you back out. All right. Are you on the outside? No, you're on. You're there too. Hmm. You're not going to come off. Wonderful. All right, I'm going to move you. <laughs> if you want to be like that, we'll just move the. And that's on the inside. Wow! I moved it and I found more stuff on the inside. All right, come on. Come on. Just 
that. I just don't want to come off. I think that's on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, it's. Yep, it was on this side. Look at that. Hmm. Nope. Maybe it's stained. Uh, what happens if you don't clean these is you will get stains, especially if you're using like um, a high a high colored paint. All right, let me get some tea. I finish off my tea because it was getting cold. All right, where's my, there's one. I want to use my silicone thingy wingy. And what I'm thinking is, oh, I, let me tell you what I was doing here. I wanted to test this because I didn't, I want a UV flashlight, little one like this. And this looks just like what you get online for a UV, but this is not UV. So it does not cure and that's how you test it if it cures the resin then it's uv if it doesn't then it's not like that's um it's like high tech there huh all right let me take this here mix up some resin and what i'm thinking i want to do is i want to test um like doing a base coat with this this is the Blue Sapphire Metallic. <gasps> Whoa, way, 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 way too much paint. It will be pretty. <laughs> it may not cure, but it will be pretty. Oh, wow. That there. All right, let's just paint these little squares here. Yeah, because it's got so much paint in it, I'm going to have to do it in small layers. Because the light will not go through that much, that much color. I'm pretty sure of it. All right, just kind of dab, 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 because it's the silicone. It doesn't want to hold to the silicone. And since we're putting layers on it, it's not going to matter. Because this can't be a, a real thin layer, simply because it's it needs to go in there. All right, let's put some more right there. Oh, silly, silly me. Huh. Go to the edge here because this is the right size. Kitty. Anyways, I was saying I got my first dislike. Um, and I don't care if people don't like my stuff. But tell me why. Was it my voice? My laughter? You didn't like the subject? You thought I was lame? Um, you know, if you're going to go to the trouble of hitting the dislike button, explain yourself. Uh, how can I improve if nobody gives me feedback, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I went and I checked and I there was no feedback at all. It was just dislike and go on. To me, that's, um, that's kind of, uh, it's kind of like a, a uh, somebody sneaking up on you, tapping your shoulder, giving you a punch and running away. <laughs> you know, that's, that's just not kosher to me. And like I said, I don't care that they don't like it because it's not for everybody. And I'm not, I, I'm not professional, but you know, tell me what it is that you don't like. Was it the length? Was it my intro? Was it, you know, how much of it did you watch even? So, and there's been videos that I haven't liked and they've been various reasons. But I never put a dislike because, you know, it just because it wasn't my style didn't mean that it was bad. And so the, the person who was doing the video, their voice was just so annoying that I, I couldn't watch it. Or they were shouting or they're like 
fake excitement. I don't like the fake excitement. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's over the top for me. Um, so I just go on. I, I you know, I, they're, bless their heart, they're, they're doing a video and, nope, that did not cure. Uh, let's do some more curing. I may have to like pause in between these. Anyways, what else I want to do today besides this here, these earrings, I want to try to fix this. Uh, when I saw this, I don't usually like these kind of bracelets, but there's something about this that's very, very pretty. You see all those colors in there? They're just pretty. And I love the, the little inclusions and I always love a magnet. Any, I mean, I, I have magnets just because they're magnets. So what I want to do is try to pull this off without doing any damage to the magnet, cut it and put it back in. Are we going to be lucky on that? I don't know. And all right, that one doesn't want to come off. That one's really, the first thing you do is just see if you can do it with your hands. And that one is not going to do with my hands. So how do I take that off without doing any damage to the magnet part? Hmm. I have pliers. I may go get, I have some, they look almost like a wrench player. Um, they have a special name. And they actually have a rubber grip that, grip that goes over them and they're made for like plumbing and stuff. But we lost the rubber grip, the little finger things that go over it. Uh, so I might look for something that I can um, pretend that's what it's for and uh, try it with that. But I'll do that on camera, but I'll go get them off camera. So, I'm going to uh, let this cure another 90 sec 99 seconds. I really want a new one that has the five minute. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a good thing, actually. The magnet came out, which means I can push from this side. Oh, see, that's a, yeah, look at this. This is a, a chopstick. Wow, they got a lot of glue in there. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Might not have to have a tool. All right. Wow, that glue is good in there. Um, This here is a nail file. It's got a little hooky thing in it for your, for your cuticles. I don't know. Most stuff made for your nails, I use in crafts, not in. Okay, I'm getting some of the glue out. Let's see, brace it a little bit. Ooh, I got, I got down the side. Let's see if I can get down the side in other areas. My sister's probably freaking out because she's always worried I'm going to hurt myself. I mean, I'm still alive. I haven't killed myself. I mean, the end of this month, I'll be 67. It's funny, uh, a video earlier in either, yeah, within the last month, I was thinking I was already 67. I was headed for 68. Age means nothing to me. You know, I'm, usually if I, I want to figure out how old I am, I figure, I, I'm like, okay, my, my son is this old. I was this age when I had him. He has not had his birthday yet this year, and I figured it out that way. Luckily, I'm, I'm halfway decent in math. Um, I love, that was, math was one of my favorite subjects in school. I, I didn't like adding and subtracting, multiplying, dividing, but when it came to geometry and algebra and that kind of stuff, those were my jam. Wow, that is a lot of glue in there, people. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to get that tool after all, or maybe something sharp. Huh. That's sharp. Let me see if I can just poke down in there. Ooh, 
it budged. At least on that one place it budged. Ah, ta-da! Look at that. Ha, 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 ha. We win, we win. All right. That's just a little tool I got at the Dollar Tree, I believe. It had that and something else in it. All right. Did you cure? Yeah. Okay, I may have to thin that out with some more resin because there is too much paint in it. But meanwhile, let's cut. Hmm. Let's see. How much do we want? I want to cut about that much off of it, don't you think? All right. You're right. You are always right. Okay. Then we need some E6000 glue. We have to... And when you put this magnet back on, make sure the poles are facing the right, right way. Otherwise, your bracelet will never hold. It will repel. <laughs> I have actually, with... Um, it wasn't a bracelet. It was a... Um, a necklace closure that was magnetic and I had it put, put the poles the wrong way so yeah and uh, in this last bag that I got for my sister Tina there was a a, uh, a, a set of two actually of magnet closures cl clasped for necklaces or bracelets anyways they were they were put in backwards so it was one was gold and one was silverware Sil silverware silver and uh, they were the poles were reversed on them so the silver would go to the gold and the gold would go to the silver but they wouldn't um, yeah they wouldn't uh, attach to the right colors so that was funny. Okay, let's put this in there. Go on up. And we are going to put a drop of glue here when we put the magnet in to hold the magnet. And it will hold, it'll hold this in just like what it was held in before. And it's going to be the right size. Yay! So that's going to be a pretty bracelet. Uh, I do not want to lose that magnet. So let me put it back on the end here. Let me set it over there. It's going to take at least, well, in about 15 minutes that we can actually work with it. We shouldn't mess with it until then. But it'll take 24 hours for that glue to get set up really well. Okay. I'm going to keep pushing this button until that is set. Um, let me add some more resin to this. It's getting a little better. <laughs> I know that. Oh. No! All right, I was going to show you this as an option. But, yeah, you shouldn't put it in the resin. You shouldn't drop it in resin, man. Okay. Yep, that one right there is got it on it. Oh, well. Let me show you what I was thinking. One of the options... Are you over here? That's here. <laughs> One of the options I can do is take this, um, these rhinestone chain here and just glue it around like that. And it'll be all sparkly. And then you can fill the sides in with resin. You'd put a layer of resin down first, put this in, then embed this in without covering the rhinestones. Um, I just don't like this color. Not for the, not with silver. It'd be fine if I was doing gold, but this is silver, and I think they do not go together. Um, I do have other uh, junk chains that are rhinestones that I could try. Um, I really do want to do what I'm doing right here, though. I want to I want to embed that. Okay, let's see. Well, it's it's tacky now. It's not it's not as bad. 
Um, I do see some color loss here. So remember I said they wore it a lot. There is, there is, you can see the copper here. So maybe it was more than just the paint. Maybe something else was, gave them the decision to, to, um, donate these earrings. But I didn't see it until it was under the, the light on both of these, same place. Um, to me, you know, when you're wearing them, that's going to be behind your ear. Nobody's going to see that anyways. This is the pretty part. I don't know. I don't understand some people. They, uh, they're real picky about any little flaw. But if they were real expensive and they're real well made, um, I could see them going, oh, they're expensive and now they're ruined. But that ain't what we do. We don't do expensive, so. All right. How about you? Eh, still a little tacky. Um, it may not um, solidify because... And what I will do then is I'll put a, just a clear coat on it or a very weak blue to cover up the holes, cure it, and then when we're done with it, it'll be tacky on the back. But when we peel it off, we will, I'm sorry about the light. That was really rude. Uh, we'll put a coating, a clear coating on the back and seal it in. Uh, tacky, tacky stuff can, see it's not, yeah. Um, tacky stuff can be embedded. You don't want to leave tacky on the outside, but you can embed it. All right. So this right here is just, um, I mixed a lot more clear resin in this. So, oh, I like that. See, it did not need all that paint that I should have just... Should have put the paint on the side and then just mixed in how much I needed. Well, live and learn and yeah, and then start over <laughs> when you mess up. All right. Okay, we will cure that and uh, be back. The other thing I want to do is I want to recoat these. Uh, let's see. Well, a lot of the, the sparkles kind of wore off, but there's, it's wore to the metal here. So I think this one's got some too, but it, I can just, I can use this right here is fuchsia. Let's see, sparkling fuchsia. It is a metallic, which means it's going to be shiny like this blue. It's going to have the, the reflective there. And if I want, I can just put glitter on part of it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. But first, let's see how, how this is going to be. Uh, once we get to a certain point, then, um, then we're going to actually work for this. But let me, off camera, finish this up here, doing layers on that and curing it. And then we'll come back and I'll mix this up and we'll start this one, cure it. But a lot of this is going to be done off camera because this is just boring watching uh, resin cure. It's like, kind of like paint drying. All right. Um, I just added another layer to that. I'm trying to cure this stuff here off so that I can put that away because I'm not going to be using that. So I just put that under the heat lamp. And I was cleaning up while you're gone. Had pulled out a butter wrapper, and yes, before you use it, just wipe it down. Um, so uh, I cleaned this here. I used the alcohol that we used just a little bit ago because I want to use it for some glitter. Um, with this blue, I want to use some of the big glitter. We'll see how that works. All right. Come on. Go back on. There we go. 
and since we're using glitter, I am using the butter paper because I want to just be able to throw that away because glitter is such a pain in the backside. Now, we don't need a ton of glitter um, because we do want the metallic to show through. And under here, I don't know that I would have bothered with the glitter, but I want to see how what that looks like to see which one of these we really want to do. And I'm not using any color in this. I'm just, just using the glitter. All right, put that up there so I don't knock it with my hand. All right. Let me uh, move the light just a little bit. If I, when I looked down through the camera just a few minutes ago, I, I said, eh, this doesn't look very good. It just kind of light hits it and bounces off. All right. All right. That's all the glitter I want. I don't want a whole bunch of glitter. Like I said, I want that metallic to show through. But I want the little bling that glitter gives it when the light hits it just right. Boy, I got a lot of glitter still on that. Uh, let's see if I can work some of it off. All right, get that. Wipe this down. All right, ta -da. Put that over there. Let's try the. This here is. Aqua Flash, and this is not a metallic, this is a flash paint. It's a color shift. All right, and I'm going to do it on this simply because I want to be able to control how much paint I put in there because I don't want to spend all this time um, curing because you're being a pain. Let's turn you that way. All right, let me put the color over to the side and we can drag in whatever we want of it. Just a drop. Come on. There we go. Let me clean that off because I hit the resin. All right. Let's use one of our stir sticks here. Just bring it in. Hope you can see that. Are you in? Yeah. Okay. You're in the field of vision. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, let me shut that off, move that out of the way, and let's fill in the other box. Don't worry about the yellow around the edge. That is, that's the paper underneath, remember? <laughs> so I don't color within the lines really well. I'm a... Yeah, I don't make straight lines. See how much um, more translucent this is than than that other was. This is going to cure a whole lot better, and we'll we'll just put layers on, and it will. Because we actually want this thicker. We don't want it too thin. Because it, it we're going to we want it to be like a. A piece that we can just pick up and put in there a hard piece not not something flimsy or whatever okay let's put that in there uh, I was cleaning up while this was thing and I come across these here this is what I was talking about I don't know if you can tell this is silver this is gold and the uh, if I try to put the two gold ones together they do not like each other now the loves the the silver so uh yeah that's funny so if i ever do a a, a um a bracelet or a necklace with 
mixed metals. I could definitely use that. It's just, it's kind of funny because you can't, it looks kind of odd when you try to use it um, and you don't have mixed metals. Okay, yesterday, I know I didn't make a video, but I did spend a lot of time making, making flowers for inclusions. And I still have a pile of, uh, of those dot things. I'm going to do as many as until I get super bored of it. And it, you do get bored of it, but, um, because I don't know that I'm going to use them too much as dots, but I can see myself using these flowers and a lot of things, jewelry. Uh, I used them in the sun catcher the other day. I made a ring with them. Um, yeah, they would be pretty in a lot of things. So there is that. All right, let's see. Did you cure? Oh, see, look at that. That cured. See how much time you save by not going overboard? All right, we need a little more resin. And a little more of that, that turquoise. Turquoise flash. Come on. Just a little bit. That's good. All right, let's stir that in. And while this one is being cured, that one's getting even more cured. And uh, I still think when we peel these off, I'm going to have to bottom coat that. Which isn't bad. I mean, just a clear coat on the bottom of it. I might do both of them. Not necessarily to the point of doming it, but, you know, just to seal up the back side. Now we really can't tell which color, what color these are because of the yellow behind it. Oh, that one's, that one's definitely opaque, so we could tell that one. And let me clean that off, and I went over. All right. All right, let's cure that one, and we'll be back. Okay, let's um, put some glitter on that now and see how we do. All right. Like I said, we don't want a lot of glitter. We just want enough to, to bling it a little bit. Oh, uh, where's my spoon? There it is. There it is. Do you ever get these little spoons? Take real good care of them because uh, they're great. We'll keep them. This one's, you can see it's been through the war, but it's still great. All right, that's all the glitter I want, just a little bit. Just put it on here just to you know, put that up a little bit. All right, here, let me use this. Use this right here. You want to get it out to the edges. Now, you can use a paintbrush for this, although glitter in paint brushes are very hard to get out of. So, you're better off if you don't have something like this or a plastic. Um, they make little plastic sticks. like It's like a toothpick. But it's plastic, so you can clean it better. Toothpicks, pretty much, once they're done, they're done. Anyways, um, yeah, if you do, you like I said, you can use a paintbrush, but with the glitter, it, it gets in those bristles, and it's very hard to get out. So, I wouldn't use a paintbrush for this part. That's why I got this out. All right, I think that. Is lovely. All right, let's cure that and 
we'll be back again. Okay, we are back. I've been doing some cleaning, <laughs> using my time wisely. All right, let's peel that off. Like I said, it's going to be sticky on the back, and it was. This one's going to be even stickier. Yep. So let's resin the back and cure that. Do you want to watch it, or do you want me to just tip it over, turn it off? Uh, we'll put a dab there, a dab there. Um, should we glitter the back side? Maybe we do need to glitter a little bit. You know what? One thing you want to keep handy when you're working with resin is some baby wipes because they clean pretty well. I use the Huggies because they're cheap. Uh, you, you have some, a baby in your family, you can steal theirs. Somehow this is, all right, let me cut that because this isn't closing well. So let's cut the little plastic thing. We don't need that. Oh, it's plant-based. How oh, nice. Let's pull that up. All right. Nope. This, there it goes. I was going to say that didn't want to close, but it did. All right. Let's spread this around. Toothpick, hold you down. All right. Then it's got some rough edges here. Um, I could have done this in a in a uh, resin mold and it would probably look better, but yeah, I didn't want to clean my mold and I didn't have it out. It's more I didn't have it out than anything. I'm not sure I have this shape. So And this one just got put back where that sticky spot was. So it's sticky on the other side. So I will probably hit the other side again with a little UV. All right. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of glitter. A bit of glitter. Again with a spoon. This time I'm just, I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Maybe I'm going to sprinkle it on. Is it coming off? Mm. There it comes off. I actually have to turn the spoon a little bit. Oh, I got a big pile of it. So, take the toothpick and just spread it around. Just spread it in the glitter. Spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it. Use the, use the resin that's there. It did come off, off over the side right here. That's not surprising. All right, close this one up. And that one we used the big chunks of glitter. Yeah, oops. <laughs> Don't use your fingers. And just sprinkle a little, a little bit with that. All right. <laughs> Again, with the toothpick, just move it around so the glitter's across the back side. <laughs> All right, hit him with the UV. And we'll be back. Okay. This is, put that under for just a second more. Meanwhile, I want to do the, finish this off. So, what do I do with my glue? I put it back. Huh. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> All right. And let's put a good dab of glue in there. So. That will do two things. That will lock that cording in, just like what it was before, and it will hold this magnet. Now, as you can see, I'm going to put it in just like this and slide it off there. That way, I know that magnet is in the correct way. And I'm going to clean 
any glue off, level it out. We want it level so it, when it closes, it closes right. And ta da! Now we just leave it there for like 24 hours, and that is done. That's fixed. And I think that's a beautiful bracelet. It's, I would have never, if somebody had described it to me, I would have gone, eh, but I really, really like it. All right, let's get rid of this. So now we have these two here, and we put them in here and see how they, they color it and you see the light hitting it. Right there's that one. And then this one here. Now you can fill these full of beads or crystals or whatever you want. So, and we could have made these a little bigger. It's, I don't know if they shrunk or if we're just, yeah. Anyways, the reason we made these is to decide which one we want to do this in. Now, that right there, when it catches the light, it's very pretty. And this one here is just pretty on its own. <sighs> I'm actually kind of leaning towards this one. What do you think? Hmm? I know. I can't hear you. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that blue. But we are not going to put too much paint in it and spend like forever trying to cure the paint. That's my story and I'm sticking to it and I just got resin. All right, I should be using my, my little pink thing here and sticking these in there so they're not laying on the ground. Laying on the ground? Yeah. Laying on the, the mats and getting paint everywhere. Okay. We need a nice little pile of paint. And we're going to have to do this slowly. So it's going to be layer, 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 layer. Okay. And I'm going to put the paint over to the side. Oh, look at that. And I got a, a reasonable amount of paint. So. Do want to use the paintbrush on this one this is just a small is it silver i don't know all right tina what kind of brush is it <laughs> kathy what kind of brush is that my sisters would know anyways we're just going to paint it paint it on and if you get any up onto the the side metal bar here just wipe it off before you cure it that's um that's a thing. You can do that. Now once I start getting around to the other side, it's going to start puddling, which means I'm gonna to have to keep moving it up and around. Go like this, go like this and then curing it very quickly. That's why I was hoping that flashlight would work. Oh well. Yeah, I was looking on eBay at at flashlights, UV flashlights, last night about one o'clock in the morning. What else do you do at one o'clock in the morning when you're an old person? Because sleep isn't, sleep isn't one of those things that you do really well. The, I was holding it by the post, and the post just just decided to turn. And when it did, I uh, caught the earring, and I caught the resin all over my fingers. But that's why I have a baby wipe right there, right? It's a good coating, don't you think? All right, let's... I'm going to do it over here so it's not... Um, I'm not going to cure this. I'm trying to move it so it's it gets it all over. Come on. Yeah, 
am going to have to figure out how to get a one of those flashlights. I don't want to pay 10 bucks for one. I am so cheap. <laughs> oh, but uh, I saw it. Where did I see it? Joanne Fabric, I think, had them and they were 10 bucks. So my problem is when I uh, first bought my UV lamp, I did not pay that much for it. So now everything in my head goes no, you can get them for cheaper than that. Not really. Ooh, I got a little bit up on the metal. Let's take that and just wipe it down. Ta -da. Or you can use a, um, a Q-tip. will also work well as to cleaning up uh, edges. All right, Ooh, got a lot on the edge right there. Hmm. Never could paint within the boundaries there. Let me try to cut that all up there. All right, let me get a Q-tip. A cotton swab for those of you not in America and have issues with us calling calling uh, generic things by their brand names. I didn't know that was a thing until I was watching it on watching a YouTube video or some kind of yeah it was YouTube on Facebook I think. Anyways, uh, and they were a Brit person was talking about how how Americans you know, we'll do that. They'll, they'll have a, something like Kleenexes or, or Q-tips or whatever. Instead of calling them cotton swabs and facial tissues, we call them by the, the brand name, even if it's not the brand. So I do that. These are actually Q-tips. So, right. And sometimes I actually do have Kleenex. <laughs> they'll either be Kleenex or Puffs. And they'll have lotion on them because I have a sensitive nose. All right. Um, yeah. Let me knock everything around. I'm going to set this here and let the light continue to cure on it. Over here, out of the way. Try to clean off. Yes, I cured it onto my fingers. And I'm going to work on the other. Oh, right there it is. I'm like, the other ring, wherever that is. All right, let's. So, and that's all we're going to do is we're just going to paint these around layer after layer until it's, uh, it's fully colored. And then the last layer, we are going to put some clear on and put the glitter on. And then we may have to, we may want to add just some clear over top of it just to give it some dimension because um, it will give it a little bit of dimension if you have the clear over it. Sometimes it actually works almost like a, a magnifying glass. It's really cool. Resin stuff's cool. Okay, I saw you shut off. All right, let me clean this up, clean my fingers up. Clean around. Clean up, clean up. Yeah. All right. Let me hold this right here. Share the light. Everybody get some light. Everybody get some light. Once it starts curing, then I can set it down. And uh, I don't have to keep moving it. As long as the light gets everywhere. But if I was to set it down, it'd all pull to one side right now. And uh, 
and it'd be uneven. But as, as long as I keep it moving, then all right. Let's me take this one. I think it just needs one more layer of the blue on this one because that's looking really pretty. One more layer of this and then we will go to the glitter, the large glitter. And again, just enough to glitz it up. And I'm getting it over onto the sides, which means I'm going to have to clean it again. That's all right. I know how to do that. All right, let's clean my fingers and then just run this along the edge. And if I do have some that I miss, you can... Uh, and scrape it off. Keep your fingers out of it. Keep your fingers out. Um, oops. It's starting to pull down there. Kept it in one position too long. Let me. Yeah, isn't that a pretty color? So much prettier than cork. I'm sorry, cork is, uh, you know, to me it's just. Cork is a cool material, don't get me wrong. But as a fashion color, whatever. Yeah, don't do anything for me that way. All right, come on. Keep curing. Curing, curing, curing. Turn it right side up. Turn it bottom side up. All right, let's set you down. All right, let's put another layer on you. And I will keep this up, and I will bring you back when they're both finished. Okay, back. Let's clean this brush out because we do not want this. Ugh, the paint it started to see. We don't want that at all. Okay, I think it's baby white. See, baby white cleaned it up pretty good. We want to make sure we get all that paint out of there. I think what happened was I got some of the just straight up paint, not the paint and resin, and that dries. If you've ever done acrylic painting, you'll be, uh, if you have paint sitting on your palette for any length of time, it will dry on you. And I think that's what this right here is, is just a little bit of the paint itself. Trying to get it off those bristles. All right, let's. Oops. Okay, I was not expecting that issue. All right, let's put that over there. Ah, clean, clean up, clean up. All right, now we're going to do. We're going to use this one here because this one's done there. That one's I'm still curing a little bit. Let's get some resin. We are not going to use a paintbrush because we are using glitter. And uh, like I said, you don't want to mess up your brushes, even if I do mess up my brush. All right, let's just a little bit of glitter. Yeah, we got both ones to do, so put a little more in. And wipe my spoon off that away. Take my little thing here. Um, actually, I have another one that's it's got a point on it. Let's clean this off. And the baby wipes clean these off pretty good, even with the glitter. Right, let's put that away. 
this one's got a point and I think I can get in there better with this manipulate the glitter all right now I'm just putting my fingers like this and I should have been doing that the whole time to hold this because it's a very very sturdy ring um, so I'm not going to bend it out of shape by by pushing on it oh, come on glitter 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 okay that big chunk of glitter don't want to cooperate so it's not going to be used I just glittered my finger and you want to keep in mind the the sweet spot which will be right here so want to make sure you have plenty of bling for the light to bounce off on I mean do the whole thing do it right but keep in mind where your where your um, focal points are and then up here by the ear itself okay you get some glitter on there clean off the the edge here clean my finger first <laughs> fingers first all right now let's get a clean side Pull some off onto the edge Okay, let's move this around. What I'm doing is I'm doing this number under the light. Okay, I'm going to do this and then I'll do the other one. And we will be back. Me, I can't see the shut off. <laughs> okay, these are curing. And I have resin cured to my finger from curing it underneath that, holding the earring while going like this anyways let's work on these here i got new butter paper out because the other one was pretty much used up and uh it's not going to take much for this this is just we're just going to use this oh it's not even open yet all right so we don't know what this even looks like because we have never used it and we want to cure these for quite a while to make sure they're cured all the way through. All right. Now the reason I'm using this color is because they were, I'm not going to remove the base color. And I don't want it to compete. All right, let's, and again, I didn't put the paint right into the resin because I don't want to, oversaturate it. I just want it as, as much saturation as, as uh, we can. All right, let me grab that paintbrush that I kind of messed up. And let's just paint. It's not a, a huge difference in the look simply because it's about the same color that was on there. But what was on there was um, really bad shape so try not to glob it just kind of paint 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 make sure you get it all okay I mean this was a pretty color it was just it just needed a lot of refreshing it was um dull where it's been was worn and had pieces that were were missing uh, 
paint. It's got scuffed up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell the difference between those two. All right. Let's cure this. Again, we are trying to keep it moving. I don't know if you can see. I am moving it like this here under the light because it will run down one side and we don't want it puddling. So. Okay, it should be good to go to sit there and, and cure. Meanwhile, I'll paint this one here. Right there's where the paint's not on the not on the earring anymore. Right here also. Make sure we get a good coverage right there. The color. All the way up to the old paint. Make sure we've got that up there really good. All right, and again, we are going to put this under here and go this way and that way going this way and that way in your song this way and that way going this way and that way da, 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 dum dum see you have to suffer through my my singing and my humming i uh, i am not talented where it comes to music you know what i missed a spot i can tell when it's under the light, you can tell. <laughs> Miss the spot right there. All right, let's go back under the light. Anyways, uh, my best story about how bad I sang. I was, uh, my husband's in the choir and I, I have a lot of friends that are in the choir, war in the choir. We don't have a choir right now. Anyways, uh, they asked me if I would join the choir and lip sync. Uh, I was telling that story to somebody and they were horrified that somebody would say that to me. I said, are you kidding? That's a wonderful compliment. They knew I couldn't sing. I know I can't sing. But they wanted me to join them and be a part of their group. They, they enjoyed my company. So I, I thought that was a terrific compliment. Anyways, this person was horrified. I'm like, no, it's fine. Those of us who can't sing know we have no talent. Um, oops. But I have a, a great theory about those of us who can't sing. The fact that we should sing even louder. Because uh, Lucifer, Satan, was, uh, that was his name when, before he got kicked out of heaven. Anyways, he was the worship leader for heaven, which means he had to have had perfect pitch and a perfect ear. So when, uh, when you sing praises to the Lord, you're, you're upsetting the devil because of what you're saying. Not only when I sing, not only does the words get the devil wanting to just cringe because we're we're glorifying Jesus Christ but when uh, when we sing the very sound of our voice has got to just like send chills through through Satan and God being God can you know like he can filter it out and make it sound beautiful <laughs> so anyways I, I really like these compared to that that brown that they were I think those are very pretty. So I'm happy with those. Um, I'm not sure if I want to put the glitter on half of those. Um, yeah, let me flip. 
on half of these here or just leave them purple well what is it fuchsia yes it is sparkling fuchsia metallic so what do you think should i should i put just a little touch of glitter you know just not on the whole thing just on the bottom part maybe hmm i'm talking myself into it can you tell that <laughs> i'm like just the bottom not the whole thing just the bottom oh and i put both of those in here see there's that one and there's that one and i can actually do layers of these so yeah you could have a whole bunch of them so you can just switch them out whenever you want it will also fill it out part of the problem is that it's it falls to the bottom so it's not pushed up towards the front so you can't see it as well all right now we got to decide glitter or no glitter hmm maybe just a little right there what do you think just a little we'll use still use this right here uh let's go right about there and just put a thing right there and oh, I can't dip it in. I was going, I could just dip it in, but I can't. It's... Hmm. Didn't really change it any. Hmm. I don't know if I like it or not, but I did that one, so I got to do this one. Those, those are the rules. And I did it right about here. I think it's because the, um, the fuchsia has glitter in it that you don't notice this. That it doesn't do. Oops, <laughs> didn't have anything on this spoon. all right i'm done playing we uh fixed the bracelet did a uh, two pair of earrings with resin and we made little little things for this here so that's what we did today and now i gotta go get changed and go to the gym because i need to go to the gym all right, let's clean the brush though clean 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 we do not want to have a mess in there huh. that uh, the paint mess from before doesn't seem to be causing too much problem with the paintbrush and I will replace them eventually I mean they only last so long and you're abusing them or excuse me using them <laughs> abusing using same thing anyways let me cure those clean up put everything away I actually got a lot cleaned up during the the times we were off camera and we were just waiting for that to cure I was cleaning my table up so it, it actually looks a whole lot better I'm not showing it to you but it looks a whole lot better <laughs> so anyways See you around. This is Bethany with New Life Jewelry Creations. Uh, thanks for stopping by.